hit shot. Sniper is a pretty cool class, but a team full of snipers can be really annoying, especially when your team could use a medic or, I don't know, maybe some power classes. But if there were ever a moment in which sniper is at its most impactful, it'd be at the very beginning of payload as the attacker. Assuming you're, unlike me, a half-decent sniper, you could easily hinder and cause havoc for the defending team with even a single pick. And this is because the enemy team will have to wait for a respawn timer, which, depending on the map, could range anywhere from 4 to 20 seconds. Not only that, but the enemy you snipe will also have to walk all the way back to the point. This gives your team plenty of time to push up while simultaneously handicapping the enemy since they'll be down a player. And if your team is exceedingly good and follows up on the advantage you provide by getting more picks on the remaining enemies, then you have the potential to snowball and cap at the very least the first point. All of this with little to no risk for you as a sniper since you can strategically position yourself from within your own spawn. This means enemies would have to go up close in order to do any meaningful damage, which is unlikely considering it's your spawn and your team would be nearby to quickly dispose of them. This leaves only long range classes and weapons able to damage you. However, most weapons at long range will only do peanut damage, so it's no big deal. Even a soldier, which is one of your bigger threats, is still easily mitigated. If a soldier hits you directly with his rocket launcher from a distance, you'd still have enough HP to react before dying, and that's assuming you don't take him out before he could even shoot at all. The biggest threat you'll encounter when using this strategy is an enemy counter sniper, which as you can see could be an immediate counter especially if the enemy sniper is better than you. So just keep that in mind when implementing this strategy. Now I'm no sniper main, but if you are and you have any insight as to what sniper primary would work best with this strategy, please share your insights in the comments below. Personally, I believe the best weapon for this strategy would be the Machina. This is for a few reasons. For one, on a full charge, the Machina does an additional 15 damage, which you're free to charge up from the safety of your own spawn with no risk. The bonus 15% damage buff is offset by two penalties. The first is that the weapon can only shoot while scoped in, which forces you to tunnel and leaves you vulnerable to backstab and other close range threats. The second is that with each shot, your sniper leaves behind what's known as a tracer round, which gives away your position to the enemy team. Ordinarily, weapons like these have negative drawbacks to offset the positive ones and keeps the weapon balanced, which is a good thing. However, the reason I believe the Machina works best with this strategy is that those two negative quirks are irrelevant, thanks to the fact that you'd be within the safety of your own spawn. Pesky spies can't backstab you from within your own spawn, and it doesn't matter if the enemy knows your position since your spawn is where you're going to be when using the strategy anyways. So again, like I said, if you're a half decent shot, unlike myself, then you'll be able to handicap the enemy team, and have an easy time capping at the very least the first point, and potentially many more if your team is good enough and can keep the momentum from your picks going. And once you do cap that first point, that's where the strategy ends. Staying in your spawn while the payload is across the map obviously renders the strategy obsolete. So after your team pushes far enough into the map, just switch to whatever class you wanted to play. Or keep playing sniper, I guess. Just remember, you won't have any of the advantages you did at the beginning of the match. Your secondary and your melee weapon aren't that big a deal since primarily you'll want to be focusing on sniping, that way you get the most value out of the strategy. But if I had to pick a secondary to run, I guess it'd be the Jurati since you can easily spam it and refill it since you'll be right at your spawn. Your melee matters even less than this, really makes no difference what you pick. Like I said, you'll want to primarily focus on sniping since that's the whole point of the strategy. And remember, getting even a single pick at the very beginning of payload as attacker can make the strategy worth it. 